Today, I want to talk a couple minutes about flywheels. This is our old 986, and we have installed a new single mass lightweight aluminum flywheel. The challenge is clutches. This is the original clutch that goes on the vehicle. Because this is a single mass flywheel, this, which is a dual mass flywheel, will rotate slightly and absorb the rotational variances of the engine. Ours is a single mass, it won't do that. So if we connect the stock flywheel, which is rigid, to the rigid aluminum flywheel, you get a lot of vibrations into the engine, more importantly into the transmission, you'll get a lot of gear noise, not fundamentally a good thing to do. So we're going to replace the clutch with a clutch that looks like this. These clutches you can see have springs between the clutch and the input of the transmission. And those springs do fundamentally the same thing as this dual mass flywheel that rotates. You take up those vibrations. Here's the learning. This is a Sax clutch. Sax makes great clutches, <clears throat> but this is not one I would recommend, and I'll show you why. You see this extension on the clutch? This does not have the extension. So if we install that clutch onto this input shaft of the transmission, there's not enough engagement. The standard clutch has roughly 35 millimeters of engagement. The new clutch from Saks has about 10 to 12 millimeters of engagement. We've done the calculations to prove it. We've installed it in the car. It's just not very long. And so while it will work, there's a high probability of failure. You only have about a third of the engagement that the engineer has designed. We did try installing it backwards. It's deeper this way. It'll go deeper into that transmission and fix the problem. The challenge is when you try to depress the clutch, the actual pressure plate will impact this area, these springs, because they sit up higher than a standard clutch. So you're screwed if you do, you're screwed if you don't. What did we do? We ordered a clutch from Spec. Spec, here's the Spec clutch and here's the Sax clutch and you can see the difference. The Spec actually has integrated into this its extended spline, just like the factory clutch. So it will fully engage in the spline on the transmission. The other thing that's interesting is they actually have a much wider spring grab here than you can see in the sacks. That means there's actually more room for, vari for uh, vibrational movement. Is it necessary or not? We don't know, but there is fundamentally a design difference here between the two clutches. So we're going to install this clutch from Saks, I mean from Spec, instead of the one from Saks because we're going to get fuller engagement uh, of the spline. The second thing is the pressure plate. This is the pressure plate that's stock on the car. It comes from Saks as well. It's, I believe the specs are a 22 or a 2300 uh, pound force when the spring is relaxed. 2300 pounds of force pushing down, holding that thing together. This is the one that comes with uh, from, from spec. Now, <laughs> on closer examination, they won't show you this on the website, but on closer examination, it is absolutely a Saks clutch, or Saks pressure plate. It's exactly the same form factor, they do paint it a very pretty color of blue that you'll never see once you install the transmission. So I contacted them. I said, hey, what's the value here? I don't understand. I was told that it was going to be a slightly different design. They've assured me that this is about a 2,200 pound pressure force of the springs. And this is a 27 or 20, 26, 2,700 pound pressure plate. It's about 20% greater force uh, on the springs. Is it true or not? I have no idea and I don't have a tool to measure the spring force. I will tell you by looking at all of the numbers around the clutch, the manufacturing numbers, I can't tell a difference. When I look at the thickness of these prongs, they look exactly the same. So I'll take them at their word, but I can't see any functional differences whatsoever. More importantly, if your clutch isn't slipping, there's not a lot of value of using the heavier clutch. So we're going to install the heavier clutch on this car. We're going to see if we can tell the difference in the, in, in the pedal feel. But if you're buying a clutch, my recommendation is 
use the aluminum flywheel, use the Specs uh, friction plate, spec friction plate, but stay with the stock uh, pressure plate from, from Saks. I'll let you know how it goes.